This video topic color fastness to light. Keep watching for most important information for textile engineering students. Introduction. The influence of light on the fading of dyes is a complex phenomenon influenced by many variables, making predictive tests for color fastness to light difficult to establish. The depth of shade, presence of unwanted chemicals, humidity, temperature, presence of atmospheric impurities and spectral quality and intensity of the incident light all have a bearing on the end result. There are a large number of different light fastness tests available on the market. Each has its advantages and disadvantages. The most commonly used are the xenon arc and MBTF lamp, however, carbon arc and natural sunlight are also used. Purpose and Scope The purpose of color fastness to light test is to determine how much the color will fade when exposed to a known light source. It is an offline quality assurance system. Generally people wear the fabric and goes outside of the home for doing their job. In day sunlight fall on the fabric surface. So it needs to know how much protection ability have a fabric to sunlight. It is determined by an experiment called color fastness to light. To measure the color fastness a blue scale is used. After completing the test, sample is compared with the blue scale. Color fastness to light refers to the ability of the fabric to withstand the sunlight. The resistance to sunlight depends on the following. 1. Dot the intensity of light 2. Dot inherent properties of the fabric 3. Dot season 4. Dot altitude 5. Distance from the equator. This test method provides the general principles and procedures which are currently in use for determining the color or fastness to light of textile materials. The test options described are applicable to textile materials of all kinds and for colorants, finishes and treatments applied to textile materials. Working Principle of Color Fastness to Light This test measures the resistance to fading of dyed textile when exposed to daylight. The test sample is exposed to light for a certain time which is about 24 hours to 72 hours or by customer, buyer demand and compare the change with original unexposed sample the changes are assessed by blue scales. For testing light fastness, samples are exposed to an intense artificial light generated by a xenon art lamp. The light passes through a series of filters to ensure that its spectrum, wavelength, closely matches the spectrum of natural daylight coming through the glass. The humidity and temperature of the test atmosphere are controlled. A small sample of material, together with a series of eight, blue wool standard fabrics, reference 1 to 8, are simultaneously exposed to high intensity light. Two exposure times are used to determine whether fading progresses steadily or initially at a different rate from the longer term exposure. The light fastness rating system is based on the rate of fading of eight blue dyed wool samples, blue chips, which are rated from 1, poor, to 8, excellent, R, given in next section. The test involves assessing samples once during the test and again at the end. The assessment is completed by comparing the degree of fading shown on the sample with the fading shown by the blue wool standard fabrics. Each sample is assigned a light fastness rating based on the number of the blue wool standard which shows the equivalent degree of color change. Thank you for watching please subscribe.